you are wondering at all, how do I find out which version of Evoto I'm on? There are two places you can do that. To the top left, there's a help tab. Just click on that and go to what's new. But also if you look to the bottom right, the same help is here on the bottom right. You can click under what's new. The version will be up top, as well as you can see what's in each individual new section. In this case, we're gonna be dealing with the new black and white mode. And the section we're gonna be in is the color adjustments. You can see under profile, we have a new black and white profile adjustment. What I want you to notice before I click on that is notice the HSL. Once I click on black and white, that HSL now turns to black and white. With the new black and white, you can change these adjustments as you like. For example, orange usually is skin tones. So I can raise and lower my skin tones. Yellows are also somewhat in the skin, but also in the backgrounds. Green are in the backgrounds of this picture. There are also blues in the photo, reds. You can also use your basic adjustments, high contrast black and white, low contrast black and white. We can change our shadows, of course, raise them up. Play around with the sliders. Have fun, create a great look for yourself. That's the black and white color adjustments. Now using this image, we're gonna look at what's new again. And we're gonna notice the sub masks for all person through local color adjustments. How do we use this? We're going to go to the local and we're gonna notice that each individual person in the photo has been selected. What I want you to notice is the masking as well. I'm gonna select this lady here and I'm gonna show you the individual mask, the entire person, her skin, her face skin only, body skin only, her face, her eyebrows, sclera, iris, pupil, and lips. In this case, I'm gonna select the entire person. I wanna bring up her exposure a tiny bit and maybe bring up her shadows a little bit. Here's the before, here's the after. Now we take this girl here and notice that her body skin is a little bit lighter than the rest of the image. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select her body skin only. I'm gonna actually bring down the exposure ever so slightly. Then what I'm gonna do here as well is I'm gonna to go to HSL. I'm gonna to go to saturation. I'm actually gonna bring up the saturation on the oranges a bit. If I go really far, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna bring it up just a bit. And there's your before, and there's your after. Your before and after. One more thing you could do using these adjustments, this girl here, her body skin is a little lighter and paler than her face. So in this case, I'm gonna select body skin, go to the HSL, saturation, increase the oranges a bit, then I might want to go to the basic and maybe lower the exposure a tiny bit on her skin. And there's your before and there's your after. Again, you have all these individual masks you can use. In this case, I just want the hair. I can create a custom mask. As of now, there is no hair mask. I want to go to the plus up top and I want to add in a hair mask. Now, once you have the hair mask done, what you can do is you can, let's say, raise the shadows, the clarity, a little brightness, touch of exposure, mess around the contrast. And now look at the difference in the hair. That's the new custom mask. And while the mask is selected, let's say I want to add a little bit more to the mask, I can continue to do so and it will just use these settings. Again, there's your before and your after. The next new feature we're gonna discuss is the hair blackening. We're gonna go back to our regular portrait retouching and we're gonna select hair. Under hair on the bottom, you see here the new white hair blackening. We're just gonna slide this up and we're gonna remove some white hair. 
It works very well in this picture, as you can see the before and after. Before and after. Now I'm going to use this photo here to discuss some more of the new features in 3.6. Let's go to what's new again. Under what's new, we have lip, wrinkles, and flakes, as well as smile generation and mouth tilt adjustment. Let me show you each one of those. First, I'm going to show you the mouth tilt adjustment. In the case of this photo, her mouth is slight, slightly tilted down to the right. So we're going to go under facial reshape, choose the mouth, and this is the new tilt adjustment. And slowly tilt the mouth around, as you see here. And once we have something we like, this is the before, this is the after. Before and after. Smile generation. In this case, what Avoto is doing is replacing the entire smile as well as the lower half of the entire face in this area. Let's go to the first one. It's going to be the smallest smile. Next one gets a little bigger, gets a little bigger a little bigger, all the way up to the last one. Now the next thing is under blemish removal, we have the new lip wrinkles and flakes. I'm going to turn this up and it starts to smooth out the lips. So this is all the way off. This is all the way on, all the way off, all the way on. And I do prefer to back off a little bit so it doesn't seem too strong. It seems a little more natural to me. Well, this is just some of the great new features that were added to the 3.6.0 update. More in-depth videos are coming soon, as well as showing some of the other great new features. Stay tuned for some amazing future content. Until then, get out there and make some amazing art.